You're back again with another video, guys, and I can't believe that I'm saying this, but the new token market in NBA 2K23, my team, is actually going to be good. And you guys know I love the token market. I can't be the only one that has been hoping for a bigger and better token market in my team. And it looks like we're finally getting that in NBA 2K23. And if you guys are as excited as I am and you want to see the token market be the best that it's ever been, then leave a like right now on the video. Do not risk it, okay? So leave a like right now if you want to see an amazing token market. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel with notifications on. And let me know down below in the comments right now what you guys think about the new token market and what 2K is going to be adding because like I said I'm actually super excited for it and if you're ready let's just get right into it so as you guys know the token market has always been a place to get rewards you know sometimes there's stuff to get in the token market itself sometimes it's just reward cards and stuff like that and this time for 2K23 take a look at what 2K said and as you guys can see right here from my team blog 2K did say that they're going to be making some changes to the 23 NBA Series 1 collection and they continue to say for the first time in my team all current NBA players will launch as rewards in the new token markets. So we're getting a whole new token market and we're going to be getting every single current NBA player as a reward, guys. And I'm excited about that for one reason, and that's the fact that they're doing this in the beginning of the year, which means that later on they gotta have something bigger planned, right? They're gonna be releasing some hopefully amazing players in there, not just in the beginning, but also throughout the year. And you guys can see it right here as well. 2K ended up showing us the Luka Doncic right here. He's a 90 overall. He's actually a reward because they did say every single player will be a reward. And you can actually grade reward cards this year for 2K23 on top of that too. And so they're going to be available in the token market, which means the current players, you guys know if you watch basketball, Curry, LeBron James, Giannis, you know, every single current player will be available in the token market. Markets. And the thing that has me the most excited is the fact that they're actually doing something new with the token markets and also the Series 1 collection. And so we're going to be able to start off the year by getting any player that we want. Maybe your favorite player is John Morant. Maybe it's somebody else. You go into the token market and you get them as rewards. And I'm super excited to see what else they're going to be including in the token markets. Maybe in the Galaxy Opal Dark Matter market. If you guys do remember, there was actually a year in 2K. Back in 2K19, that was the first year that 2K ended up introducing the token market and we actually had a galaxy opal to start off the year and that player was will chamberlain i remember going after so many tokens every single day trying to get this card obviously you needed a lot of tokens because you had to get to the galaxy opal tier and then once you got there you had to get 750 tokens to be able to get will chamberlain but i love the fact that 2k added something in the beginning to go after and it looks like they're going to be doing something similar with all the current players being available day one in the token market as rewards and that's going to be amazing because they did also say that they're going to be option packs too. And so we're going to be able to select them in option packs and then earn tokens. And basically, we got our favorite current players immediately. They said immediately, guys. And so we're going to be able to get those players right away. And I love that, bro. I love the fact that they're finally doing something with the token market nice and early. And then hopefully they got something crazy to plan, you know what I mean? But like I mentioned earlier, though, they did have that Galaxy Opal Wheel Chamberlain. And that was amazing because it was just something to go after. It was a reason to get tokens. That's mainly the main thing that I'm trying to get at. And then also they ended up doing something similar in NBA 2K20. And they actually had three Galaxy Opals that time. It was Penny Hardaway, Grand Hill, and David Robinson. And I'm kind of hoping that 2K maybe has a Dark Matter available. Obviously, he wouldn't be available day one or anything like that. But it would be really cool to just start working your way towards getting, you know, the current players. But also maybe, you know, a Dark Matter or just a Galaxy Opal would be really cool too, just in the token market. And then once you end up unlocking like every single Series 1 player, maybe you can get closer to that Galaxy Opal tier in the token market, you know, reward market. And then that would be really cool too on top of getting the favorite players. And when it comes to those players too, you guys know, in this collection right here we'll take a look the 22 nba series one collection in 2k22 we had these players like Giannis, curry basically every single current player out there and so i'm excited to see what 2k has in store for us there because you guys saw the luca is also a 90 overall and he was also a 90 overall for the series one collection for 2k22 so i wonder if lebron kevin durant steph curry Giannis, are they going to be diamonds are they going to be pink diamonds? Are they going to be amethyst and stuff like that? And I'm just excited to finally have a reason to go after tokens in the beginning of the year. And you guys know tokens are basically free because you play triple threat, you play triple threat online. You guys know we're getting co-op triple threat, you know, and stuff like that. Single player, this and that. And so we're going to be getting a lot of rewards. Same with logger codes. You guys know we always get tokens and logger codes and stuff like that. So these cards are basically going to be easier to get. Then say if you were to buy them in the auction house, 
or in previous years how they were available in packs but this time they're available through the token market as rewards and we're going to be able to get them day one so if we want to get a Kawhi, a Damian Lillard if we want to get that Luka and get it graded we can do that as well as long as we have the tokens and I'm super excited for it let me know what you guys think about it I can't be the only one that's actually excited for the token market for 2k23 because I'm excited for everything else too they have so much other stuff we ended up doing a breakdown video if you guys watched that video there's so much new stuff that 2k ended up adding and I just want to see these players like Kyrie, Paul George, Zion out here, you know, Rudy, he's going to be on a new team, you know, Jalen Brown out here as well. We got so many players that we're going to be able to get, John Morant and all these current players. You know, we had a bunch of them, bro. We had golds, we had emeralds, and they're all going to be available, you know, in the token market. And so there's finally a reason to actually get tokens in my team. And 2K also ended up releasing this screenshot right here. So you can take a look at some of the players that are going to be available in the new token market. We got players like Chet that's going to be available. He's going to be a 75 overall gold player. We do also have, for example, Jalen Brown. He's going to be an 84 overall Sapphire player. We got Robert Williams. He's going to be an 80 overall. You guys saw Luka earlier, 90 overall. And then you guys can also see the other players like Payne. We got Williams, other players out here. Now, when it comes to the other players, I'm actually excited to see what tiers, you know, the other cards are going to be because we do know that Jalen Brown is an 84. So, you know, the better players are going to be higher overalls like LeBron, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Giannis. I do wonder exactly what overalls are going to give us. And I'm actually also excited to see players like Kyrie Irving you know he might end up getting a ruby card he'll be available in the token market you know shout out to JCB 2k for making this card on 2kdb we could also maybe see a DeMar DeRozan shout out to Joe for making this card right here and then like I mentioned maybe Giannis could be a diamond you know shout out to Will I am for making this card I would love to be able to get Giannis right away because you know he's gonna be glitchy he's 6 11 he's a demigod so Giannis you know he's gonna be in there might be a diamond maybe could be you know something higher who knows we don't know yet exactly their overalls I showed you guys some of the ones earlier that Tuge did already confirm like in the my team lineup and then the Luka and so on and then we do have ourselves you know Kevin Durant he should get a diamond that diamond KD I think might be really good in 2k23 especially day one and if you've been playing my team for a while then you know that no matter what tier KD is at he's always a really good card to get and he's definitely gonna be one of the early cards that I go after in the token market the new one and so that's gonna be exciting KD out here you know, Kawhi, he might be an amethyst. He might be a diamond. Who knows? You know, he's been injured. Hopefully, he comes back strong. Same with Anthony Davis. And Anthony Davis will also be available in the token market on current players. And so, Kawhi, that's going to be cool, too. You know, shout out to all the people that are making the cards on 2KDB. We do also have, you know, Steph Curry and LeBron. Now, these two, I feel like, are probably going to be two of the higher overalls. You know, Curry, LeBron, maybe Kevin Durant, too, and Giannis. They should be the highest. I don't think it'll be a pink diamond, but I did just find these beautiful cards on 2KDB just to emphasize that, you know, LeBron and Steph Curry will also be available in the token market. And so that's going to be really cool to just go after those players for your tokens once you get them from Triple Threat. Maybe you get them from, you know, locker codes. Maybe you get them from challenges and so on. We can use those tokens in the new token market and actually get every single current NBA player through the token market. And then that way we get to try out our favorite players right away like Steph Curry, LeBron James, and these other cards cards that are going to be available day one in NBA 2K23 and so I'm definitely excited for this new change in the token market so the current players are going to be available there and then eventually they'll keep updating the token market at least I hope so with some bigger and better stuff and we'll see what happens I'm definitely excited for 2K23 for now though I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update for the token market and for now this will be this video right here guys if you're excited and you're ready for 2K23 then leave a like right now subscribe comment down below and make sure to check out these other videos that I uploaded I did a breakdown for everything else that 2K is adding for my team for 2K23 Check out the new squad builder and check out this other upload. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.